Your Highness, your gaze is wandering again. Oh, can you blame me? I know that your eyes see them just as well as mine. It's very well that they might, but I know better than to stare when and where I should not. <sighs> I can never understand why you deny yourself the simplest pleasures in life. Enjoying a pleasant sight is hardly a sin. Enjoying a pleasurable scene of the picturesque may not be, but I'm fairly sure that using your mind to picture pleasurable scenes is. Hmm. Hmm. I can't deny. Watching them work does indeed stoke many types of fires. <clears throat> Your Highness, stop it. You're being indecent. No, oh, but you like it when I'm indecent, don't you? <clears throat> Your silence speaks volumes, dear knight. Yes. And you speak volumes on subjects that you should be silent on when we're in public. Would you quit twisting my own words against me? I swear I may have been the one to receive tutoring on language and speaking, but you're the one who uses it better. Besides, I see no one around us. Certainly no one within well enough range to read our lips. Let alone to hear what we're saying. Besides, I suspect that you are not opposed to hearing my tongue speak such filthy things. And in the sweetest words. I... I won't say that I despise hearing me. Your voice spin the most vulgar acts into something more alluring. Mm -hmm. You won't say that? Or you can't say that? Mm -hmm. I suppose if I'm to be honest and you are If I am to be honest, then it is that I can't say such things. Ha! I know it. Yes, yes, your highness is correct, as is to be expected of someone of your caliber. <laughs> Come now, there's no need for you to be so cold to me. I'm not being cold at all. However, you know what will be cold? Do tell. I'm sure that you'll find my place in your bed to be rather cool without me there to warm it. Oh, you would take your place in my bed? But wherever else would my dear knight go? Surely do not plan to sleep in your own quarters. So far from my own. Hmm. Perhaps I might. Or perhaps I might even find another bed to warm. One that is as warm as the forge. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that you'd ask to lay next to the person of our shared interest without inviting me? I never said that. You are free to ask them if you may join us. However, given that you're being so unbearably smug, don't be surprised if you find yourself on the ground courtesy of my foot. How rude. I doubt that our lovely blacksmith would appreciate such mean behavior towards a bedmate. With behavior like yours. I'm sure that they would understand. 
On the contrary, I think that they will enjoy having me in their bed. I would do anything and everything in my power to make sure of that. <laughs> Are you sure you can uphold a promise like that? As much as I hate to boost your ego, you do wield an amount of power that is more than substantial. Precisely my point. I guarantee that I will show them my attraction to and fondness for them, by any means which please them, no matter what they may entail. <laughs> That's quite a bold declaration for you to make. Is it? I suppose it might be, but it's not one I make lightly or without thought. My heart may be that of a romantic, but my will is made of iron and steel. I am very well aware, your highness. You have made both of those facts very evident to everyone whose path comes across your own. To some more than others, I hope. I would say that depends on which others you are speaking of. My dearest, most treasured knight, I'm speaking about you. Though I should think you already know that. I might, I suppose. <sighs> you might? That's what I said, yes. That I might. <laughs> <sighs> if I didn't know you as well as I do, I might be hurt by that statement. Fortunately for me, I know better than to believe you. I should hope so. You are the one who insisted to the High Council that I be your personal guard, and then immediately set your sights on seducing me. <laughs> At this point, knowing me should be as easy as breathing to you. Uh, seduce you? Hardly. I was trying to romance you, okay? To court you, if I may be so bold. Yeah. You wish to. <clears throat> but that's not. We couldn't. We can't. Oh, dear God above. He just tried to say so many things at once. Did you happen to tie your tongue into a knot somewhere in all of that? Your Highness, you can't say things like that. What if someone were to hear you? And what if they were? Would that be a problem? Yes, it would. Do you know how the citizens, how other kingdoms, would talk of you if you were to proclaim that you had intentions to court me? Oh, I can only imagine which words would find their way into their gossiping mouths. And if they found out it was not only you, a highly beloved knight, but also a blacksmith with no titles to their name. Oh, I'm sure the rumors would be worthless. Then why are you taking this so lightly? You say things as if you have no regard for your own future. What good does it do for you to say? What good does it do to me if I have a crown on my head and I can't express love towards whom I feel such rich emotions? I don't care about the opinions of those who have no say in the matters of my heart. Who among our people has hate for either of you? And who, in those far-off kingdoms, could possibly understand the strength I am given from you both? With the importance of both there and your roles in this kingdom, it should only be expected that you will play an important role in its future. Even if it's not the role anyone expected. If this crown curses me with the burden of not being allowed to partake in a relationship with those I love, well then I shall cast it aside. <laughs> However, given that our dear blacksmith is the one responsible for making my crown, I doubt that it shall be a burden at all. In fact, 
I think I should quite like wearing their handiwork. Just as I enjoy being able to have you at my side as my god. I can't tell which I enjoy more. Getting to brag to others about how skilled you are. Or getting to see said skills in action. <laughs> Your Highness. It's usually that your bragging is what brings about me needing to put such skills to use. However, despite your arrogance about my skills and your somewhat troublesome personality, I must say that I also adore you in return. Though I can't help but worry about your reputation and how others may view you. You shouldn't worry about such things, really. I can't please everyone. And I won't try. I'll do what is best for my kingdom. And that is all I can do. Those who are unhappy with whom I should court should remember that they have no say in the matter. <sighs> You're right, I suppose. My job is to protect you from those who will try to harm you. And when their words can't reach you, I have no reason to try to defend your honor. I should remember that you are much stronger than their words. Precisely, my beloved knight. Though I am flattered by your noble heart and the way it cares for me. But now... I believe that our blacksmith is looking in our direction. Are they perhaps wanting to speak to us? <laughs> it seems that they could be. After all, I remember their excitement when we last spoke. They mentioned wanting to show you the plans they had for your crown. Did they? Funny, that because they were asking me questions on the specifications of the sword you would like. <laughs> <laughs> then let us not keep them waiting. They seem excited to see us, don't they? That they do. Is it strange that thinking such makes my heart beat fast? Only if it is odd that mine does the same. Now come, spending time with both you and them promises to make for a pleasant evening.